Here we are again, my friends, family, and esteemed colleagues. I was asked just now to explain a little bit why the ideas of Dr. Robert Young, according to cancer and food, are not correct. Or if they are correct, then whatever I'm saying is, does not make any sense. Well, Dr. Young basically follows the mainstream science, realizing that yes, acidic cells, very dehydrated cells, are the ones that turn into cancer. So, it means that if we eat alkaline diet, that we are going to prevent cancer. Well, this would make perfect sense if then he would recommend alkaline diet. But he goes into vegetables. And there we go, again the same wheel spinning and spinning and repeating like a parrot, like a parrot. Different color vegetables they bring different antioxidants, different minerals, and we take all this together and uh, we are alkaline because plants are alkaline. Well, if you eat them wrong, again, you are eating paper. You cannot digest it. So it does not mean what it is. Yes, if you juice them and then you are drinking the juice, it is alkaline. But what happens? You are cooking them. Everything he shows there, beans and carrots and whatever is there, it's basically prepared cooked. If it's not cooked, then you don't have any access to anything that the plant has anyway because it's within cells which is shielded with its membrane out of cellulose. You cannot digest it. So you have to cook it to break the cellulose. Now everything is exposed. And now, oh yeah, and you are getting these minerals. And so if we are getting all these minerals, then why herbivores who only eat that crap need to eat salt and carnivores don't? Because there is no freaking salt in, in, in those plants. The amount of minerals that we get is negligible. Basically zero, according to how much minerals do we need in our plasma. On top of this, we are being told, yeah, but it is alkaline. Well, as soon as you cook it, it loses alkalinity. And more than so, it releases glucose. You absorb glucose, your body uses a little bit of it, but we always eat a bunch. So the liver has to turn it into fat because there is no storage of glucose. And what happens? When it's turning glucose into fat, it's producing side product, which is uric acid, acidifying the hell out of the body. In which way does meat acidify? In no way. Everything we are told, it's about cells. Within the cells, it is creating pa pa pa. Yeah, well, cells cleanse themselves. And to cleanse themselves, they need to absorb plasma, which they cannot absorb when we are eating crap, especially vegetables, especially seeds of vegetables. They are all laced with toxic protective proteins to protect the seed from being chewed up. So the whole science is the old science that we are being fed through schools, which shows zero improvements if you utilize it and try to be benefit from it. Now, what is cancer? Here, uh, Dr. Young in this article also says that, yeah, cancer cells depending what you eat, if you don't eat correctly, for example, if you eat overcooked meat, you get colon cancer, and if you are eating um, um, 
uh, dairy and, and cheese and milk, you get breast cancer. Where is this nonsense coming from? Just repeating, we are looking at statistics. And even there we are cheating. We are basically picking what it suits us. So then we can write about it and become famous. And it's all crap. If you don't understand cancer, you will never ever find the way how to protect yourself using the knowledge we are getting from these scientists. I don't want to be rude. Because they should wake up already. Why? Because there is so much out there about cancer. Just look a little bit at work of Dr. Hammer. In 40,000 cases, he demonstrated that cancer is linked to emotion. Okay? And yes, cell has to be acidic, so emotion then can cause cancer. Why? Because acidic cell, overly acidic, every cell is acidic. The body is neutral, it's not alkaline. This is baloney, again, half science. Body is neutral, pH 7. But saying this, body has two different liquids. One is the extracellular liquid, which is your blood and plasma, lymph, lympha. And then you have the intracellular liquid, which is within a cell. Everything in, in our life is motion, it's energy. And in world of particles, this is showed by a division, night and, and day, or night and light, good and bad, hard and soft. We call it action and reaction. Well, this is what keeps the movement going. And same is within a body. As the extracellular liquid is slightly alkalized, 7.4 basically. It's between 7.3 7.4. And the inside of the cell is slightly acidic, 6, uh, 6.8. 6.7. Now, if the acidity of the cell decreases, if the cell becomes more alkaline, the cell cannot survive. Cell has to be acidic. And if it gets overly acidic, it cannot hold electrical charge. And when it cannot hold electrical charge, then voltage may drop. But voltage will not drop, drop just by itself because cells are always, body is always supported. It's a toroidal field. The heart is producing huge amount of electrical charge. And then it sends it to the brain where it's fractured, like in a prism light, it's fractured. This way, electric currents, energy is fractured in a brain on different frequencies. And then from those, wherever the particular frequency is that also resonates with particular tissue or organ, from here then it is being provided to the tissue and organ in that particular frequency. And now if the cell is overly acidic, there are many people just look at them dry as a prune and they have no cancer. Why? Because the brain is supplying all the energies, all, all the in proper frequencies to the organs, and if the voltage of the cell stays below zero, 0 0.7 volts, uh, I mean above 0 0.7 volts, the cell is fine. But if it drops below 0 0.7 volts, this is a signal, again, we are robots. 
This is a signal for, we call it proliferation. Basically cell splits in half, tries to put as much garbage into one part, then it seals it and dislodges it. It's like make, making a huge mesosome, microsome, what we call, what they now call a virus. It's not freaking virus, virus doesn't exist as a particle. This is a packed garbage from within the cell, but if the cell cannot anymore sustain its electric charge, then to save its life, it tries to make the biggest sacrifice, just splits in half, packs the garbage on one side as much as it can, seals it, dislodges it, and tries to regenerate itself with less garbage. It's like us bleeding ourselves, so we have then regenerate fresh blood and Overall, our blood is less toxic. But if this is not enough to raise the voltage up, then it will proliferate again, and again, and again. And this is how tumor grows, tumor cancer, same thing. Now, when, this, when is the problem? Is when you have particular emotion and the emotion is, reason, is basically your brain is producing uh, thoughts and depending on what kind of a thought it is, it has a frequency. And also that frequency, if it resonates with one of the tissues in your body or organ, now because you are, you are producing, you are, you are transmitting this thought you are trapping this energy. You are not providing now the tissue or organ with this energy. You are sending it out. And if your cells in that organ or tissue are very acidic and they cannot hold the charge and now brain is not providing the electrical current, voltage drops below 0 0.7 and bingo, starts proliferation. And if you are dwindling about the thought, if you are, and it's proven, I've seen it through clients I'm working with, but Dr. Hammer, he has 40,000 examples of it. Okay, so has nothing to do with what you eat in particular, milk or, or, or vegetables or meat it is basically what thought are you generating what emotion is bothering you because you are dwindling on it you are dwelling on it you are start you are constantly with it so you are not letting the energy energize the, the acidic cell and it keeps proliferating proliferating because you are not raising the voltage and this is your cancer and you can stay in this toxic state still continue eating shit and not drinking plasma but if you can free your brain and let it pump energy down again cancer stops growing and actually body heals again countless examples of it so whatever Dr. Robert Young, and I'm not picking on Dr. Robert Young because he's just example of basically the general opinion in medicine. And it's wrong, purposely wrong. But then there are some who actually cash on it. They write books and they propagate it. All looks so nice, nice pictures of greenery and avocado and uh, cucumbers and to a, 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 look this is so good this is so alkaline my ass it's all wrong science this is why nobody heals majority of people I know that had colon cancer are vegetarians so 
<laughs> you have, they only pick and choose. Okay, this guy was eating meat and he had colon cancer. Okay, put him on the list. And this guy, okay, this ate vegetable. No, don't put him on the list. This is what is being done all the time. And same is like, okay, now, yeah, and because you are now touching the cancer, now it's spreading over the body. Again, it's a different vibration. It cannot spread in different parts of body because it will not be supported there with that. The cell itself will not survive in that area because it's not supported. It's different vibration, different environment. And you don't have uh, lung cancer and you don't have now in colon growing a lung cancer. No, it's a colon tissue, which means completely different vibration. But where the problem is of spreading cancer is that first you didn't know that you have a cancer. You just worried about your child and pingo left breast becomes with cancer. And now you are told, wow, you have a cancer, we have to take it out so it doesn't spread and pa pa pa. Well, now you start thinking, wow, now if this spreads, and I have to take care of my children and what if I die and, and fear of death cuts the breath short. Yeah, you, got, you get breast cancer. Fear of death, another emotion is basically of, uh, you feel that you are uh, a pipe pillar of the family that you have to provide and now you won't be doing that. Well, pillar of our body are the bones. And pingo, you get bone cancer. So this is how you get different cancers if you have toxic acidic body. But eating vegetables is actually going to improve, improve make it worse, this acidity, because you are producing a lot of uric acid, acidifying your body. With meat, you don't have nothing of it, especially if you eat it correctly, raw, or as raw as possible. But then we are said, we are told, no, but bacteria, parasites, no, 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 you got to really cook shit out of it. Well, of course, you are making it toxic. So, this article is pure utopia. And I'm sorry that so many people are reading it and thinking that this is the way to go. Not realizing that it's actually cancerogenous diet. It promotes cancer. It promotes a sitting body. But no, 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 you eat alkaline food, you need spinach, you eat potatoes, it's alkaline. No, it keeps you alkaline, but then you eat um, lemon and acidic. No, but in your body it's alkaline. Well, how can you, when you eat acid, become alkaline? Of course it's acidic. Yeah, but it's good, it creates alkalinity. It doesn't, but it helps you digest. Because we, majority people, eat so, so terribly that their stomach is being kept alkaline. They cannot digest because stomach, again, body is a robot. You stuff it with fruits, it doesn't need acid to digest it, so it doesn't produce acid. It doesn't produce acid, it doesn't produce alkaline buffer. Because it knows it cannot digest the crap. You eat vegetables, same thing and then you eat vegetables with little meat, well, now you cannot digest the meat. You put a little bit of lemon, now you can help the digestion with acidity, even though this is nothing in comparison to the hydrochloric acid in the stomach. But better something than nothing. And on the other side, we are just accepting blindly that eating vegetables, why? Because, yeah, vegetable, look, it's alkaline. Look, test it, you know, vegetable. Yeah, but you are not eating it like this. And if you are eating it raw, you cannot digest it. 
If you are cooking it, you are making. The more you are cooking it, the more acidic it becomes on its own. Because water becomes a non-structured and becomes acidic when you are heating it up. And so that's plant. Plus, you are creating huge amount of acids when you now have to transform these sugars that you take from plants because there is nothing else but pure sugar, little bit of fat that is negligible and little bit of protein also negligible and wrong protein. Everything about plants is completely different than animals and humans, so you cannot compare them in that fashion. One doesn't supplement the other. So, I hope this, my ranting, makes any sense to you, but just go through my work. We are breaking down medical science. We are destroying the lies that we have been indoctrinated with. And of course, we have to learn now completely new science. Fortunately, we are not going to need it where we are going because we will manifest immediately, instantly. So you always manifest yourself as a healthy being. But until we get there, we first have to cleanse so we can raise the energy, so we can offload the wrong frequencies because we cannot take them with us. So now is the time for everyone to start cleansing and eating correctly. And you have to decouple from the old fake science. We have to get into this correct understanding. What body is, how it works, what is the food, what is alkalinity, why and where. You alkalize your digestive system, especially intestine, not a big deal, but stomach, you cannot digest. You don't digest, of course, you have digestive problems, you don't take in proper ingredients, and your health dwindles. So, thank you for listening. And uh, any topic, let me know, and I'll see if I can make any sense out of it. Thank you. Till next time. Love you all.